Hello friends, my name is Daniel and I am your host of the Gorilla Strategies Podcast. If this is a question and answer based podcast, so if you have a question, go to declareatwarwithin.com. You will see a link in the show notes. Go to the contact us page and send me your question and I will have it answered. Okay, I don't like the fluff, so let me just tell you really quickly if this is your first more and more people are at least tuning in, so this is your first episode. Guerrilla Strategies is here to help men become more powerful in life, to help them defeat their inner enemy. So if you want to learn more, go to declarewarwithin.com, and all that information is there. So let's get right to it. The first question asked was, how to be more powerful in life? So there's so many different avenues we could take from this question, right? But this has been on my mind, this particular avenue, so I'm going to discuss it in reference to your question. The the highest power, the highest strength, the highest, the, the, the hardest thing to do actually is commit to self-mastery, mastering yourself. It is the ideal and it is the most challenging thing a person could commit to doing in their life. So we could kind of reword that and say to conquer yourself is the highest power. So in this podcast, we're we're really, we talk about the mindset, but overall it's strategy. It's practical strategy, long-term strategy that you can use in order to have the, the desired benefit. So if you have an addiction, for instance, A great way to be more powerful in life is to overcome it with willpower. Actually, I'll I'll go as far as saying if you cannot overcome your own addictions with willpower by itself, you are not truly powerful. If you cannot do that, if you cannot conquer yourself, you will not be able to conquer the rest of life. Of course, you know, there's, there's levels to this, you know, let's say you do heroin three times a day for five years. It's, it's a little bit more challenging, but overall, I'm talking addictions such as coffee, porn, TV, entertainment, social media. Choose one addiction. It, it could even be beneficial, let's say coffee, and stop it for 30 days. Recently, I quit YouTube, where I, I'm not, I haven't been on YouTube for over a week because I realized I was spending a lot of time. And yes, of course, a lot of the time I spent on YouTube was for education and knowledge purposes. But overall, I quit it because I saw myself becoming a little bit addicted to it. It could be email. It could be anything. So a great way to become more powerful in life is to choose an addiction, even though it could be beneficial to you currently, and quit it for two weeks, 30 days, and only use your willpower. Only use your willpower to overcome that 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 need that instant gratification that that wanting to gratify any of these impulses it could be let's say porn for instance instead of going and watching porn you use your willpower in order to conquer conquer yourself so when you conquer yourself when you choose an addiction and you overcome it and then you could come back to it once of once of course you've proven to yourself that you can do it and throughout this whole process don't tell anybody No one needs to know this, but overall, you're doing it to prove to yourself time and time again that you are in control of your life, that you are in control of your life. I can repeat this over and over and over again. You want to have power over your life, your thinking, your choices, your behaviors, your actions. And to do this means increasing your willpower. So that's just one way to be more powerful. We'll go into others in future podcast episodes. So in short, in review, if you want to be more powerful in life, increase your willpower. Conquer yourself. And talking about conquering, someone asked, who will win Connor versus Khabib? They knew already that I am a huge Connor fan and I never, ever self-label myself as a fan, but I truly am a fan. And there's so many ways that you can look at Connor, but you know, if you think about it, this man is a true modern day conqueror. Connor is a conqueror. 
Like, if, if this was back in the day, he would be, you know, Hannibal. He would be a Caesar. He would be an Alexander the Great. He would be a Napoleon. He is a modern-day conqueror. He, at a young age, set out to achieve something in his field. He sacrificed everything. He prepared to the best of his abilities. And he went out and did it to the shock of his family, his friends, and the world. Time and time again. After he did that in the fighting business, he conquered and now is conquering the business game. He created a media company. He has a whiskey line and he has a clothing line launching soon. Now he's back into fighting. So this is just example. So he's conquering different fields. He conquered his main egg, fighting, and now he's still back in it. You still focus on your main strength of what you are. You never forget who you are, and he is a fighter at his core. And then he went to the business game, right? So what could we learn from this? We could learn that it's time for us to conquer the game of whatever game we're in, whether that be business, life, women, whatever game it is, it's time to go set out and achieve what we set out and want to achieve. You must strive to be like this. Who is that next opponent for you? What is that next level for you? What dragon must be slayed by you? If you're young and you don't have a lot of successful, let's say, reference experiences in your past, start small. Do a, a two-week goal. Win that goal. Do what you set out to do and then choose another one. And then through the whole process, have an iron word, believe in yourself, and whatever obstacles come in your way, improvise, adapt, and overcome, as Conor McGregor once so famously said. The next question is, how do I use affirmations correctly? So there's four requirements for using affirmations. The four, the, the four are present tense, use your own language, they must be easily repeated and to the point, and a, a tiny bit realistic. So let me explain. You use your own language. So I could, let's say someone in England is listening to this and they're like, I'm a great lad, right? I don't use that word. So I'm that affirmation, while me may be super powerful for that individual, that is not my own language and it will not be effective. I am a great man would be my own language. So the first thing is you want to use your own language. So if you're reading an affirmation somewhere or you picked it up in a book or, or a podcast, make sure that you're switching the words that will have the most emotional impact for yourself, right? Next is you want to use present tense. So instead of be like, one day I will be this, well, that, even that is better than nothing. But you want to be, I am this currently, because the best way to create the future is by your actions and your thoughts. Now, you are creating the future by what you're doing today and in this moment. So if you in this moment think a certain way, you choose to think a certain way, I am this type of person right now then your future will already be like that. Act as if is a fundamental principle. The next is you want to make it so it's easily repeated. I see a lot of affirmations that are like five sentences. It's like a tongue twister. Don't do this. Make it easily repeated. You want to think about an affirmation as a basketball. Like you're bouncing the basketball like bounce, 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 bounce. It must be kind of easily repeated, a little rhythmic, Something that you could almost hypnotize yourself by repeating it over and over and over again. And lastly, you want to make it a tiny bit realistic. So if you're making $10 an hour right now and your affirmation is, I'm a billionaire, I'm a billionaire, I'm a billionaire, it's not really realistic. Yes, a lot of culty self-help will tell you, no, you should do it, Dad, you, you will become a billionaire. Um... No, you will not. And I'm not here to shit on your dreams. 
Maybe you will become a billionaire, but your, your affirmation at that time must be a tiny bit realistic. It can't be a billionaire, let's say a million or a hundred thousand. And the thing about this is that you can always change and update your affirmation. So it, your affirmation can be like, I make a thousand dollars a day. And then once you make that, you can increase it to 10,000 or a hundred thousand, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So those are my four requirements when I'm creating an affirmation for myself. And I recently published an article about how to choose powerful affirmations and the six affirmation steroids that I use in order to make them more powerful, more stronger, and will yield faster results for you. So if you wanna listen and use those steroids today, I've never before released this content, so just go to Declare at War Within, and I'll leave a link in the show notes so you could just read that article. It's one of the cheat codes to life, so if you just go to DeclareWarWithin.com, go to the cheat code category, you'll see it for yourself. All right, so this is it for episode number six, Gorilla Strategies, and I'm so happy that you're listening, and I look forward to continuing this journey with you.